Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me here live once again this week at the Royal Sit Down. I'm your host, Zyla Royals, and today is Wednesday. And on Wednesdays, I like to do the spell of the day. And our spell of the day is uh, going to be jar spells and how they work. Jar spells are by far the most basic of root work in um hoodoo it's simple it doesn't take much but the main ingredient the main material you will need is a jar now what you put in that jar is solely up to you it depends on um what your intentions are are you working a love spell are you trying to get rid of somebody? Are you trying to dominate them? Are you trying to surround yourself in protection and money? So you have to figure it out what you want to do first. When you get that down packed, you put the ingredients that you want in this jar. Now, if you're working a specific spell, and uh, we're going to use the honey jar, for instance, because the honey jar is by far the most popular love spell, love ritual. The honey jar is to make the target sweet on you. The honey is super sweet and the intention is to have that person to be sweet on you, which, which means nice to you, love you, be kind to you. But honey jars work really slow. They work really slow. And you may say, well, how do I put the honey in the jar? Okay, how about you just go to the store and buy the honey that's already in the jar? Okay, thank you. All right, so uh, jars are all about um, confinement, confining the... Um, the ingredients that's in the um, jar. No, I want to say it like this. It's all about confinement to who's in the jar, confining the person that's in the jar. Say, for instance, you have a, um, a target and this target, you know, they, they're mean to you. So you'll put them in a jar and you would use ingredients like um, water. I would use water because water is a lot faster and it moves a lot. Um, it moves a lot uh, faster, and it moves um, a lot quicker. Okay. Um, and then a lot of people like to use ammonia. That's another popular one. Ammonia. Um, and vinegar is to hex somebody, but if you wanted to get rid of somebody, you would use water or you would use ammonia. You would write their name on a piece of paper, telling them what it is you want them to do, like leave you alone or stay away from you, put them in a jar, turn it upside down, put the jar in a dark place. Some people like to, if the spirit tells you to wrap the jar up, in a type of cloth, do that. It may tell you to um, wrap it up in a black cloth and put it here or put it there. Okay. And a classic, a classic way uh, is to take that bottle or take that jar to moving water, which it would be like taking them to the river. That's an old uh, saying that I've heard my grandparents say that's from Louisiana, taking you to the river. So you would, that's how you would get rid of it if you had to do it like that. Or, or if you um, have a jar that you've been working on and you just so happen to want to start working that jar again, just start just to activate that jar, just shake it. All right. And then, um, pick up and pick up where you left off. I have a few jars that I've made. And one of my jars was a brown sugar jar. It was like, it's like a sweet life. I'm not too 
much on love spells and performing them for myself. I am more uh, performing money rituals. So check this out. I uh, And I actually did a live too in my group. Okay, so I took a jar, a regular mason jar, a short one, and I uh, put brown sugar in it. And the whole um, idea behind this ritual was to create a sweet life for myself because I am fed up with living a life of sadness and dull experiences. I, you know, I would like to enjoy the things that life has to offer. So um, I put the ingredients that I wanted. I used brown sugar, of course. I used, because uh, that's the main ingredient, okay? If you don't have anything else, you can definitely use sugar, okay? Um, I put sugar in it. I put rosemary. I put lavender. Um, I put uh, roses inside. I put some money rice that I've made inside. And I still got that jar right now. I made that jar actually uh, this summer of 2018. And by means, I've been working that jar. I've actually lit gold candles on top of that jar. I don't even light no other candle but gold on top of that jar. And um, I remind that jar that I am aiming for the sweet light. The, like the 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 good things that life have to offer, like relationships. I even put that in there. Even though I'm not in a particular relationship or um, anything like that, but when I do come across a, a man or a woman, you know, I, I want that experience to be a positive one. I want it to be a sweet one. I want it to be a good one. No matter if, I mean, because friendships, that's a relationship, you know, um, co-workers, that's a relationship. So, you know, anybody that come in contact with me, I, I want them to feel the uh, loveliness coming from me, uh, the sweet side coming from me, you know, and build sweet relationships with people. Because mind you, we don't operate in this world by ourselves. So I put all of that into that jar and I've worked that jar to the point where it's just on my altar for decorations now. Because I know for a fact that my ancestors have heard me. Because when you work, okay, so because when you do a jar, you're basically saying that you're going to keep this spell going. No matter what, until you release all the condiments that's condiments <laughs> yeah because this could be whatever you want inside that jar it could be whatever you want inside that jar whether it's vinegar uh sir chili peppers whatever you want to put in that jar you could put inside that jar so and if you wanted to reverse it you just let it all out but basically when you go for a jar you mean business and it's a very basic 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 ritual very basic spell you know, when you go for that job, you're basically saying this is what you're going to be confided to. That's it. So if you make a domination jar for a target and you put that person's picture with vinegar and and nails and um, I'm talking about uh, rusty nails and um uh, and shake it up and light a black candle on top. Yeah. That person is going to be enduring some shit. So I put people in in a jar that have, uh, I would put people in a jar that have harmed me. That I want to keep them away from me. And, um, you know, I don't want to do nothing bad to them. You know, so I just put them in a jar and keep them away from me and send them down the river. You never see them again. If your man is messing around on you and you know who the woman is, put her in a jar and separate them. Jars can be used in any shape, form, or fashion that you want to use them for. No matter what it is. If you say, well, I'm going to make a jar 
and I'm gonna put my family inside because I want to protect my family. What you would do? I would put my family around cotton balls, cotton balls and black salt. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I would say the cotton balls are like for like is my protection, like my little pillow, my little safety cushions. You know, because uh, put whatever in that jar that builds your intentions to the point where they become reality so you can see them. It's just that simple with any ritual that you do anyway. Just make sure that you can see it come into life no matter what, no matter how big it is. So when it comes down to jars, they work well they work slow and they work forever <clears throat> so a jar would be a perfect way to do a love spell a money spell a domination spell and a protection spell by any means necessary. If you want to put a person in a jar, put them in a jar. All right. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, the Royal Sit Down. Um, leave your comments, anything here, and I'll get back to you. I enjoyed you guys, and peace out.